Why does A raised to log base A of B equal B? How does this work? And what it really comes down to is basically the definition of a logarithm and how it relates to an exponential form. And you know, you may have converted between log form and exponential form. It's one of the things they ask you to do early on before you get to this property more than likely. So let's just kind of recap that. So you have log base A of X equals Y, just gonna use kind of the X and Y's here. And you bring the base down when you're converting the exponential form. So A, logs always equal powers. They always equal powers, that's part of the definition. What power do you raise A to to get X is another way of thinking of what the log really means. So this Y power is gonna come over here. So we bring the Y over here. And A raised to that power is gonna equal the argument, X. Okay, so this is basically the definition of a logarithm, how it relates to your exponential form. So now we're gonna take that, I'm gonna go ahead and change colors here, and on this thing it's a little bit more involved, but there we go. So I'm gonna change colors here, and then let's go ahead and try and prove this property using a conversion. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna say, okay, log base A of B, we're gonna start here, equals itself. And that should make sense. At least I hope it does. <laughs> so log base A of B equals log base A of B. And then we're gonna do a little bit of manipulation here using this property up above, or more importantly, this definition up above. And I'm gonna think of the A here as the base. So it's just gonna come straight down, you know, just like we did up above. And now the whole right side I'm gonna think of that as being like the Y, the power. And that thing is just gonna come right over here to the power, log base A of B. And then the argument just goes to the other side of the equal sign. So it might almost seem like cheating how we just use the definition and this log base A of B equals itself. But by doing that, we can end up with a really neat other property that does have useful applications in solving other types of problems. And I hope that helped and thank you for watching.